It's Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, yeah. And of all the Olympics with their pumped up tricks, it's Lindsey Vaughn, Lindsey Vaughn, that I... Vaughn, scene one, have it, try to rhyme it there. Hey, Lindsey Vaughn's about to compete in her last Olympic downhill race, a historic moment. She's trying to walk away with a heavy neck. Heavy because of all the gold hanging around it. Uh, she's putting it all on the line tonight, and so are you on HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your host, uh, Scott Rogowski, AKA H Quavo, AKA Lil HQZ Vert, AKA Quiz Khalifa, celebrating Rihanna's birthday from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps. Newbridge Commons, New Jersey, shredding some powder with all 1.1 million plus of you live around the world competing right now, including Nate Ergang, Ava Edison, That Wayne Boy, Officer Harrops, and happy birthdays to Elizabeth Hope, Lauren's mom, Deanne, and Zachary. Is this your first time going for the gold with us? This is so much easier on your back than the luge. I asked 12 questions, you have 10 seconds to answer them, get them all right, and you win our cash prize. Tonight's prize is 2,500 bobsleighs, 2,500 downhill skiers, 2,500 dollar dues that's enough to buy yourself a pair of skis, boots, a slamming pair of Oakleys, and hit Wyndham for the weekend, become the next Lindsey Vaughn yourself. Why not, she's retiring, there's, there's room for you. Are you, are you strapped in? You got your safety helmet on? I've done my research, now you do yours. Come on, y'all, it's time to have fun. Time to quiz with me and get some money. Time to get down to the nitty gritty and get this show on the road. Cumero, numero, but I'm bum, umero, according to the title of her hit 2015 song, How Long Is Rihanna from Wilden? Four or five seconds, a few hours or so, or it depends on the traffic. Riri, happy dirty 30. To Riri, the Bayesian beauty, my dad sat next to her mom on a plane once, and that's as close as I'll ever get to her. Do you remember the song, Kanye and McCartney? Little collab? Now, I'm about four to five seconds from Wilden, and, and so are you, because, yeah, that's the answer. 980,362 of you. We got three more days till Friday. That's true, too. The song called it. We did have 120,000 thinking it was a few hours or so, which, that sounds like a fun, a fun song. Q2, Craig Newmark founded a website named what? Craigscatalog.com, craigslist.org, or gmail.craig. Craig Newmark. He founded the site after being laid off. Now he's thought to be worth a half billion dollars. Not too shabby. It's craigslist.org. Yes, Craig is the Craig in Craigslist. 958,705 know it. You know, Craig and I have a lot in common. It's the number one question that we both get is, how do you guys make money? They're a free site, what's going on? 958,705 have a casual encounter with Q3, the rest of you missing your connection. Q3, not just a TV program, Frontline is also the name of a popular type of what? Hairstyling product, electric guitar brand, or pet medicine. Oh, Frontline. Has your dog or cat been in any tall grasses recently? Uh, no? Yeah? Are they riddled with fleas and ticks? Hmm? Well, Frontline can help because in addition to being a PBS documentary show, it's also a pet medicine and 663,562 of you got it right. The rest of you being buried in the pet cemetery. Hey, did you hear about the tick that bit Al Gore? The tick came down with Lyme disease. Jonathan Katz! Q4, which of these countries has the smallest population? South Korea, South Africa, or South Sudan? Looking for smallest population in this one? South Africa has about 56 million people. South Korea, where Lindsay's about to show him who's boss, has 51 million. But that relatively new country south of Sudan, called South Sudan, has only 12.5 million citizens, and 445,565 are getting their passport stamped to the next question. South Sudan split from Sudan in 2011, and they're not doing too hot. Not so good. Neither of the 200,000 of you got out. Q5, which of these is an influential type of synthesizer? Boog, Moog, or Lug? Or Bog, Moog, Lug? Ooh, you can say it however you want. Your favorite sounds on Kraftwerk's 
Autobahn and Parliament's flashlight are made possible by Robert Moog. Although if he had his druthers, we pronounce it Moog, because that's the way he pronounced it. Tell that to your Emerson Lake and Palmer fan in your life. Moog is the answer. 237,037 are prog rocking along to Q6. How about Andy Moog? Edmonton Oilers goalie. Bustin' Bruins goalie, Q6. Stan stainless steel is stainless thanks to which added element? Chromium, palladium, or cobalt? This miracle of modern science. Stainless steel. It exists thanks to the alloying of other metals in with the iron, specifically chromium. Yes, chromium. Stainless steel contains 10 to 30% chromium content. It's the chromium oxide that acts as a protective layer against the elements, specifically moisture, which causes rusting. At 162,832, got chrome on the dome. Rest of you rusting out as we hit the halfway point. This is not a painless quiz. Q7, after the 2002 Olympics, which sport 6.0 system was replaced by the ISU judging system, gymnastics, diving, or figure skating? A lot of tremendous displays in this sport this year. That should be a major hint. Aye, aye, Tanya. The new International Skating Union System, ISU, was designed to be more objective after a scoring scandal in 2002 and Oh, is old. Aqua. So he's your answer, 22,091. Getting it right? Very tough question there. Question as we lost 40,000 of you. I can't believe Jason Momoa was 38, so I got a few years to get as swole as Aquaman. All right, challenge accepted. Q9, which car model does not come in a hybrid version? Volkswagen Jetta, Ford Fiesta, or Toyota Avalon? I need to grow my hair out, bleach it blonde, gain about 100 pounds in pure muscle, add 40 pounds of tattoos, and then Jason Momoa will have some competition. But I'm asking about Ford Fiesta here. In the Fusion and a C-Max hybrid, but they do not have a Ford Fiesta hybrid. And we do have a savage question here, folks. Oh, mercy. Oh, the HQ manatee. The Fiesta continues for 6,266. You're built for it, tough. For the rest of you, the Toyota Thon is over. It may have been in December. For you, Q10. What is Miss Clavel referring to when she says something is not right in Maline? Burglars, messy kitchen, or a pen? You guys remember your Madeline? Classic book uh, with the Eiffel Tower on the cover. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said something is not right. Miss Clavel somehow knew Madeline had appendicitis and rushed her to the doctor. Children's literature. Miss Clavel, more like Miss Clairvoyant, right? This book was all about teaching kids that having a ruptured appendix is cool. Call me Miles Davis, Q11. The first ever athlete to win Olympic gold for South Korea did so. It took till 1976 for South Korea to capture gold. Yang Young Mo accomplished this fact. Yes, athletes of South Korean descent have been competing before. Oh, look at this savage question here at the penultimate question 11, 723, escaping the room, surviving the savage question. We lost over 2,000 who came so close but they're not even gonna medal tonight. No, 
They're not. They've wrestled with this quiz all night, and it, it, it could be yours now. You could pin this quiz down on Q12 for the 723 left, because this is it. The final question. It all boils down to this. 723 H cuties left. $2,500 at stake. Who's going to make that money move? on Q12. Which baseball player is not mentioned in Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire? Jackie Robinson, Mickey Mantle, or Roy Campanella? Boy, my kind of question. Written during Billy Joel's Billy angrily spews random proper nouns in this song. You remember it, right? Joseph Stalin, Malenkov, Nasser and Prokofiev, Rockefeller, Campanella, Communist, Block. So there's Campy. Later he goes, Little Rock, Pastor Knack, Mickey Mantle, Kerouac. So Mickey Mantle's in there, but despite breaking baseball's color barrier, Jackie Robinson couldn't crack any of the many, many verses in Billy Joel's epic history lesson. Hey, Jackie Robinson, you're the answer, and 120, 98 of you are big winners, baby! 198! <laughs> One hundred ninety-eight of you jacked up on Jackie Robinson. You were singing the song in your head there, weren't you? Do you remember it? Very nice. Big congratulations to you splitting two thousand five hundred dollars. That breaks down to about twelve sixty-three each. That goes to Evan there using a funny little cartoon avatar. Jace White, Jay Weisberg, twelve sixty-three. Got a cute doggy. Isa and Jack, you got some money. Kristen Hudson, I like your blonde hair there. You got some money. Doctor Fish, fishologist. I don't have a fishologist. Maybe I should uh, see one. Blue Maverick 8, 1263 in your account, your pocketbook, your wherever you want to keep it. That's our game tonight, folks. Exit through the side doors. Please tip your wait staff. We'll be back tomorrow because we are live every day with HQ at 9 p.m. and weekdays at 3 p.m. That's right. Every day we do this giving out new money, new trivia questions. It's all fresh. We keep it fresh. That's what we do. And I'm Scott Rogowski, your host, signing off for tonight saying, Rock and Roll of Cola Wars, I can't take it anymore. It was the Cola Wars that really broke my back. <laughs>